So let's solve questions related to network theory or circuit analysis in 2021 AP ESET question paper. So here the question number is 123. If there are five branches and four nodes in a graph, then the number of mesh equations. Remember, you have a formula which is B minus N minus 1. Here B is the number of branches, N is the number of nodes. Here number of branches is 5 and nodes is 4. So 5 minus 4 minus 1, which is simply 2. Next, at resonance condition, the voltage across capacitor and inductor is what in case of a source voltage? So remember the voltage drop across an inductor or a capacitor in an RLC circuit can be greater than the applied voltage in case of an AC source. So it can be greater. This is because the voltage drop across the two elements are not in are not phase voltages. Hence the summation of the voltage cannot be done algebraically. Only vector summation concept is allowed in this case. Next, <clears throat> the propagation constant of a transmission line with impedance and admittance is remember gamma the propagation constant is the product of square root under z into y in this case 9 into 16 under square root so here it is nothing but 3 square into 4 square i can simply write as 12 so remember here z is generally in the form of r plus j omega l and y is generally in the form of g plus j omega c so remember propagation constant formula gamma is equal to square root z into y next what is the expression for resonant frequency in a parallel resonant circuit remember the resonant frequency formula is given by fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root lc so if you see your options only this is matching to the particular option <clears throat> next if source impedance is complex then the condition for maximum power transfer is Remember, when the load impedance, when source to load impedance is complex conjugate of the total impedance of the network, maximum power is transferred. So I can simply say in an AC circuit, maximum power trans is transferred <coughs> when the source load, source to load impedance <coughs> is complex conjugate of the total impedance of the network. Next, which of the following is not regarding true regarding a standard wave? So standing waves are generally not desirable and some of the energy is reflected from the end of the line and actually they move back up to the line. This reflection indicates that the power produced by the generator is not totally absorbed by the load. When there is a power loss, naturally the strength of the power goes down. But here, it the option is given as, which is not true. So here, he is saying that there is no effect, but generally this will be affecting the strength of the signal. So the reflection coefficient of a sine wave of a wave with transmission coefficient is 0.35. Remember, reflection coefficient is the reverse of transmission of transmission coefficient so i have a simple formula t plus r which is 1 in, in this case he has given transmission coefficient as 0 0.35 so 1 minus 0 0.35 0 0.65 is your reflection coefficient with this the questions related to problem network theory are completed